How much of a difference will your teeth whiten in one use with Lumino whitening strips? I'm going to give you a before and after right now and also show you how to apply these because they come with directions, but I actually think they leave off a couple steps and a couple tips and tricks that are going to help you along the way. But the first thing you do before you even open the package, and this is not in the directions, go brush your teeth. I like the Lumino teeth whitening toothpaste, but actually I like Marvis better. And I did a whole video on this, so you can watch that video. I'll put a link to it and a link to this whitening toothpaste. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because then you won't miss anything. Then I just use my Philips Sonicare toothbrush, but you can use any toothbrush you want. Now I know you know what it looks like to brush your teeth, so I'm not gonna show you that part, but I'm gonna go run off camera, do that right now and be right back. But before I do that, here's our before. Okay, we got a close up. I drank coffee this morning. I'm about to head off on a trip. I want some sparkling white teeth, so let's go. Teeth are now brushed. You may be wondering, why should you brush your teeth? I'm not in the dental industry, but in my opinion, I just feel like, I don't know, why not start with it as white as you can and then put on the whitening strips. So before we begin, here's after using Marvis toothpaste. Okay, now we just have a good baseline of what we're starting with. Let's begin. I'm a big fan of the Lumino whitening strips because of their ingredients, especially if you have sensitive teeth. These are really good for that. And they just have some more natural ingredients like coconut oil, dead sea salts, essential oils, and they're pretty easy to apply. So you're going to open the package and you're going to find two different strips. The one that's curved up, that is for your lower. The one straight across is for your upper. Now you might already notice it's not gonna go all the way to the back and that's okay. Unless you smile like this, nobody's gonna ever see that. Here we go, we're gonna take it off and one side is sticky. Take that, use two hands. You're just covering your teeth and folding it under. If you do it right, there shouldn't be any sort of like weird taste or anything like that, very simple. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. So we're taking it, that smaller part is up. And that's it, it's in. I can still talk, not very well, but I can still talk. And then you're gonna set your timer for 30 minutes. So here we go. It should go without saying, but don't eat or drink during this 30 minutes. All right, we hit the 30 minute mark. Let's take them off. Now, the directions say just throw it away, you're done. I don't know how you could possibly be done because there's a thick film on my teeth. It definitely doesn't taste wonderful. It doesn't taste horrible, but it's thick. So you gotta go and brush your teeth. So let me go brush my teeth real quick and I'll be right back. That is the one part of the Lumino teeth whitening strip experience that could be a little smidge better. Other strips don't leave such a thick film, but you know what, you just brush it off. It's no big deal. Okay, we're ready for the after. So I'm gonna get nice and close. Here we go. not used these in a while. In fact, I tend to use these as a touch up. So you could do it in a row and really whiten teeth, but I like to have just a box on hand. And whenever I notice my teeth start yellowing, I drink a lot of coffee, I pop one on and it just kind of brings them right back to white. So that's how I like to use these. Hopefully you found this tutorial great. If you want to get them, I will put a link to it in the description so you can grab yourself a box. You are going to love them. Let me know in comments if you've ever tried them or your favorite teeth whitening products. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.